What's good YouTube, it's your boy Demus Art, more than just a pen. In today's video, I am gonna be taking you guys through all the things you need in order to get started on your ballpoint pen journey. Now, the first thing you are going to need is obviously paper. Paper is essentially is, is what you use to draw on, right? I've used different types of papers over the years, anywhere from printing paper to watercolor paper. I've used it all, I've tried it all. Me personally, when I started, I used printing paper why it was cheap you can get uh, multiple of them and i was one of those kids like i loved drawing drawing was my everything as a young kid so going to the library if you ask them can i get a sheet of paper they'll literally pull out like the the printer that has like a drawer in the printer and just pull out a printing paper and just give it to you so they used to give me that like all the time for free shout out to the library woman go to it because i used to draw a lot it's it was cheap and I was, I was dead broke, innit? Like, I was a kid, watercolour paper. If I said that to my mum, she would have been looking at me like, you crazy. What do you mean five pounds for uh, 30 sheets? What are you saying? <laughs> are you okay? Boy, you best go take a piece of uh, kitchen roll and draw on that, which I've done before. <laughs> I've, I've actually done that before um, on a train journey to Sweden. But yeah, printing paper is cheap. It's, it's thin, which is a con. To an extent, it can be beneficial. It was beneficial to me, which I've only realized as I got older how beneficial it was to my ballpoint pen drawing career. Um, because it's so thin, you know, printing paper, you have to work in layers. You can't go crazy because you know the paper starts scrunching up and that, folding. I've been there, done that. But again, if you're one of those people you wanna practice a lot, you wanna do a lot of drawings, and printing paper is more than perfect because you can get like a hundred sheets for a very cheap price compared to something like watercolor paper which is very expensive and if you're one of those people that draw multiple times a day or multiple times a week it can add up if you're trying to use watercolor paper all the time of course watercolor paper is great simply because it's thick it can take a lot i prefer the smoother watercolor paper i've tried the grainy ones the grainy ones tend to leave like little because you're using ballpoint pen, it tends to leave like little blobs, little little patches, like areas that can't be covered up because it's so, the pen can't cover it because it's so grainy, like it's like bumpy. Um, so I prefer to use the smoother side. I've also used a drawing pad, which I have here. This drawing pad, this is slightly thicker than uh, printing paper, just a little bit. So this is also good to draw on. The latest drawings I've been doing on this channel have all been done on this like drawing paper. Shout out Arteza. Uh, great company. I've been using their papers for like the last six, seven years. I ain't gonna lie. Also, the watercolor that I use this is A5. I, I've been using the A4 one as well. I use these to do like daily sketches and stuff. Have a lot of pads. But yeah, you go through them. As you can see, 30 sheets is pretty much done, gone. But yeah, that's it for paper wise. The next thing you're gonna need pens. You need pens. Now, me personally, my favorite pen is Stedler. That's like my go to clutch. It just works perfectly. I never really have problems with that brand. Second brand that I use is Ryman Stationery, which is another clutch, but this is mainly in the UK. I don't think it's anywhere else in the world. Stedler here, these are the ones I use. I will, I will link these look below in the, in the video so you guys can go get yourself some. And obviously if you use my link, I might get a little commission, a little something, something. Ryman Stationery, um, I've I'm one of those people I go pen hunting, right? Whenever I travel, it doesn't matter what location I'm at. If I see a stationery shop, I'm going in. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm not the only artist. I know you, all my artists that are watching this, I know you guys do this as well. Whenever you see a stationery shop, wherever you are, you have to, regardless if you've got enough pens or papers to last you a lifetime, which I do. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I have over 2,000 pens, enough to last me two lifetimes. I'm not gonna lie. So I don't need to buy pens anymore. But am I gonna stop? No, because I can't help myself. If I see something that I've never tried before, it looks different, it's unique, I'm a, I'm a purchase. <laughs> Remember, pens are cheap as well, right? They sell these, obviously seeing the yellow right here, I had to purchase. So that's the yellow I use most of the time. Um, Stead, I use these ones, I also use other ones. Let me show you guys. The ones like this, pretty cool. These are pretty solid. These are, what's this, Trip, Tripless, Tripless Bowl XB. I don't even know what that means. You know, I don't know. It's pretty, it's like a thick, thicker nib. And I also use a Bic. You 
got these ones. These are pretty cool. And then we got these ones, standard brick pens. However, when I started, I used whatever I could get my hands on. I'm not gonna lie to you, that's, that's, that's really it. Obviously now we've got technology and whatnot. Back then YouTube wasn't a thing, or you know what I mean? Like using social media wasn't really a thing. So I didn't really know what brands and what kind of stuff were out there. It was just straight, whatever I have around me is what I use, right? And pens is one of those ones you can always get here and there. So I've been through all from the cheapest to the worst, to the best of the best, I've been through all types of pen. Um, all the like, the 10 in one ones I've used before as well. Like, you know, I've, I've gone through a lot of pens and I've found that Stedler is my ultimate go-to, then Ryman, then Bic. Um, those three are the ones I use personally. There's obviously other brands, Zebra, Pilot, and so on um, that sell pens. Just find one that you guys enjoy and it, and it just works well for you, right? So yeah, that's it for pens. Also, make sure to check out the Patreon, which is linked below for real-time videos. Um, there's a ton of them. There's like over 100 videos over on the Patreon. And also have some here on YouTube just to help you guys out on like layering, pressure, proportions, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, right, check it out. Links below. Next thing you want to get yourself is a cloth. As you can see, mine is pretty bad. It's, <laughs> it's filled with pen marks. This cloth is for whenever you're drawing and you, you're covering up a lot, of, like a big section. You wanna, every time you stop, wipe. That's that's my rule. You pause, you wipe. Like you have to try and make it a routine, right? You're drawing, break, let me just wipe it real quick. So just have the cloth on the side, it's goated. When I started, I was using kitchen roll, toilet roll, just to wipe my pen. Um, and then I was like, you know what? I'm wasting quite a lot of kitchen roll with this. You know, every drawing I'm just using one kitchen roll and then I'm throwing it. Why not just take a cloth and make it yours for when you're drawing? And then, yeah, you know, like, you, you gotta be smart about this, let me see. <laughs> so that's why I use a cloth now instead of um, kitchen roll, toilet roll, whatever. Um, clutch definitely helps and it's my go-to. Just remember that rule, you pause, you wipe, you pause, you wipe. The next thing you're gonna need is a sheet of paper folded into four. That's what I do, I fold this one into four pieces simply because sometimes the pen can be very stubborn, right? Sometimes you be trying to draw and the ink is just not inking. The ink can just be like, I'm on a break, like, <laughs> hello. So then you have to talk nice to it. You know, you have to talk nice to the pen. You have to say, yo, come here. Let me give you some tender love and care. So you get your sheet of paper, you know, you start, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Give it, give it, it all of that. And then eventually the ink's like, okay, I'm gonna listen to you. And it starts flowing again. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, but I know that made sense. Cause that, that may definitely make sense. You gotta be tender with it. You gotta show yourself love. Cause sometimes it's just like, I don't, you've been using and abusing me for so long and you left me out here to dry without putting the lid on. So I'm not gonna work. I'm I'm a, I'm a be just sit here and just not want to. So you have to come and talk to it, talk nice, and eventually the pen will work. So get yourself a sheet of paper, fold it in four, whenever the pen's not really functioning the way it should, scribble it, and then when it starts flowing again, you, you can go. Um, so that way you don't do it on your drawing because if you spend hours on your drawing and the ink's not working, you're like, why is this not working? You're trying to force it onto the, next thing you know, the, the darkest line, especially if you're working on a light area and you're just trying to do it lightly, you're trying to force it, it's just gonna come out real dark and just ruin your whole drawing. So definitely get yourself a sheet of paper, fold it in four, and this should last you at least a ton of drawings before it doesn't work again, uh, before you have to change and use a new sheet of paper. Another thing you're gonna need is patience. Just have a little patience, yeah. You gotta have patience. This thing here, ballpoint pen, is all lines. You're literally making a drawing from lines, from hatching, from cross hatching, scribbling, all that kind of stuff. You, you're, that's how you're making up the drawing. So it's not like paint where you can just cover up an area with a couple strokes 
it's not like a marker pen where you could also cover up an area with a couple strokes or pencil where it's just quicker to cover up an area. You're using lines. Something that would take a painter or a like markers or whatever, those type of artists, whatever will take them like, let's say five minute process. You got a timestamp by 10. <laughs> As a ballpoint pen artist, you got you literally, I'm gonna be completely honest, it needs to be timed by 10. So that's gonna take you like 30 minutes. Instead of five minutes, it's gonna take you 30 minutes to cover up the whole area, simply because you're using lines. And especially if you want it smooth and consistent, you're gonna have to be patient with yourself. And a lot of people don't have patience with ballpoint pen. Me personally, I don't, I, I don't class myself as a, like a hyper realistic artist. I'm, I, I came up with the name a few years back, Sketchism, that's what I do. I do sketching slash realistic drawing because the longest drawing I've ever done was like 16, 16, 17 hours, which was my Hulk Gladiator. Yeah, Gladiator Hulk was the longest one. And then I think it was Aquaman. Yeah, Aquaman down here, this one, this one. That one, that one took me around 16 hours. So yeah, normally I'll be seeing like with ballpoint pen, like small A5 pieces, took me 50 hours, took me 100 hours or whatever, how many hours. It's always a lot of, it's always above 20, 30 hours. And that for me, no. <laughs> I draw fast because I grew up on just sketching. I just liked sketching a lot, trying to like look at the image, transfer over quickly. Boom, 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 boom. It was, it was always fun to me. So... I still, I have a lot of patience, but I don't have the patience for like the 40, 50 type of hours. Um, maybe one day when I'm older and I ain't got nothing to do and you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? I got, I got a lot, a lot of time to spare. Then maybe I might do like a 50 plus hour drawing and see where that takes me. Um, me personally, I also like to draw for like a few hours at a time. So I'll draw for like two to three hours, take a break for a couple hours or so, sometimes even a day, and then come back, see the drawing with fresh eyes. What did I miss yesterday? Like I've never really sat down and completed like a big piece in one sitting. It's always a week or two it takes me to complete like a 10 hour plus drawing. Sketches, I sketch every day pretty much, you know? Hour, two hours sketches. I do that all the time, I love it, I enjoy it. But as for like the longer drawings, take a lot of time, you gotta be patient with yourself. It's a process. Your drawing's being built up with lines, and I feel like sometimes a lot of people don't don't realize that it's gonna take you a lot, long time. You know, you gotta get them, them layers, the pressure control, all that stuff. So yeah, be patient with yourself, and you should be good. And the final thing, the the, the final of the final thing, is more patience. Now you thought you had patience, you're gonna need more patience. <laughs> I'm not joking. This ballpoint pen thing is very time consuming. It's, it's very, very time consuming. It really is. And you, you need to have that. You're gonna be frustrated with yourself sometimes. It's a permanent ink. It's a, it's, there's no, like, let me rub this out. Let me start again. There's no undo button. You gotta think about every stroke. And especially if you're gonna try and attempt it the way I do, freehand, no guidelines, no sketching before, no grid, you're just, going off of the image you see every stroke has to be thought out you need to deep it like it's got to be like 150 percent concentration on your drawing think about every stroke so you gotta have patience on top of patience on top of patience like when you think you have patience add more patience i think am i making sense i think i've got through to you have patience <laughs> That's it for this video. Those are all the things I believe you need in order just to get started on your journey. Um, if you guys do have any questions about ballpoint pens, I'll make more of these videos. I want to make at least one a week answering a question or something like that um, to, to really help you guys out. But yeah, I want more ballpoint pen artists out there. That's it for me. I will catch you guys in the next one. I'm Audi. Peace.